we carry so much tension in our shoulders and our necks. And when we face um, so much of our stress that we face, we capture it right here. You know, we start weighing out options of decision and our shoulders creep up. And we start feeling um, worried about something and our shoulders creep in. And we start to feel like, oh, there's so much to do and there's all these things that you have to get done. And, it, and we, we get like this. We lock up and we seize up. And so today I want to work on releasing that a little bit. But before I get started, I want you to warm up. So here's the plan. I want you to pause this video right now. So uh, pause the video. Well, I'll tell you what to do before you pause it. Pause the video and go do some sun salutations. Or put your timer on and feed your inner 10-year-old and jump rope for five minutes. Or put on some music and dance to a couple of your favorite songs and get your shoulders moving and your hips moving. Do whatever it is that you need to do to make, um, to just shake off some of that tension, to warm up your body, to get things moving. And then once you've done that, come back. So pause the video right now, go do that, and then come back. All right, welcome back. <laughs> Hopefully you're feeling a little warmer now and your body's a little looser and, um, and you've already started to work out some of that tension. And so I want you to take a second just before we begin to open up your palms, um, come to a seated position, bring your mat between a doorway. You'll notice I'm kind of in an, an awkward place to do yoga maybe. Um, but we're going to practice in a doorway today. So find a narrow hall or a door that you can um, come into and practice there and then and put your mat there and we're gonna um, come to a seated position I'm gonna kneel today if you're more comfortable um, sitting in a cross-legged position that is great sit where you can comfortably sit and sit up straight so I want you to first just come to a comfortable position whatever your body needs today and focus first on your alignment so take a second to make sure that your hips are directly under your shoulders, that your ribs are knit together, that your shoulder blades are falling down and back. Draw the chin in just a little bit so the ears come in align, um, come in, in alignment with the shoulders. And then open up your palms. Wherever you're seated, just open up your palms to the sky. And take a few really slow, deep breaths. Filling your diaphragm, filling your lungs, and then exhaling it all out. And then again, inhaling. And this time I want you to open your mouth and just sigh. <sighs> Let it go. And again. <sighs> and one more time. And then close the lips and continue to breathe through the nose. Long, slow, deep breaths. Friends, so often our stress and our anxiety it stems from a lack of trust. We think, or I think, that I have to do X, Y, Z. I have to get all of these things done. And I have to be responsible for this, that, and the other thing. Um, that I have to be the one to make things happen. And I think that I'm alone. I think that I have to do it. And so I begin to feel stressed. I begin to... Um, to think that I have to make things happen on my own. And friends, that simply is not true. When we recognize that God is with us, that he is sovereign and strong and powerful and quick to save, when we fully trust 
in his sovereignty and even more in his love, we can begin to let go. Because what happens when we think we're alone is we begin to close our fists. We begin to tighten our shoulders. We begin to hold in. Because we think, I have to suck up this strength. I have to make this happen. I have to do it in my own power. And we don't, friends. I don't. You don't. That to-do list that just overwhelms you today, you don't have to do that alone. So I want you to open your hands and let go. That decision that you really have to make that's weighing on you and all the options are, are just holding you down and you don't know what the right choice is. You don't have to make that decision alone. God is there. He is waiting for you to, to open your hands and to ask him. A friend of mine this week made a comment that has just stuck with me. And she said that, um, she said there's always enough time for everything that Jesus invites us to. There's always enough time for everything that Jesus invites us to. I want you to sit with that. Breathe that in. There's always enough time for everything that Jesus invites us to. Friends, when Jesus told us that he would send us the Holy Spirit, he told us that the Spirit would be our guide, our helper, our counselor. So as you go through your day and you have so many things that you're responsible for, that fall on you, decisions you have to make, people you have to care for, know that you have a guide with you, a counselor with you that you can turn to. That you can trust. Who not only is sovereign, but whose sovereignty is driven by love. His sovereignty is driven by love. He loves you. Can you let that sink in, in this moment? All right, so slowly, I want you to drop one ear to one shoulder, lengthening and stretching out the other side of the neck. I want you to send your breath there. As you inhale, feeling it expand. All those tight places lengthen and expand. And as you exhale, feeling it all relax. And bring your neck back up to center. And drop your ear to the other shoulder. Again, expanding those tight places with your breath. And releasing them with your exhale. And bring your head back up to center and drop your chin to your chest. back up to center. Now I want you to bring your hands behind your back and grab each elbow. So take, grab the elbow with the opposite hand. So it'll look like this. In your hands. And then I want you to circle your shoulders. Rolling them up and back and down and up and back and down while still holding on to the elbows.
and then drop the shoulder blades down the back. And I want you to again drop one ear to one shoulder. Continuing to hold the elbows as you stretch out the side of the neck. Bring your head back up to center and drop the other ear to the other shoulder. Breathe. And come back up to center. Take a second, release the arms. Shake out the hands, shake out the shoulders. If you need to, you can switch positions. If you wanna, if you were kneeling and you wanna change to cross-legged or um, switch from cross-legged to kneeling, that's fine. Whatever is comfortable for you. Then I want you to um, grab a strap, or if you don't have a strap, you can use a scarf like I'm using, or a belt, anything that you have. And I want you to take it right out in front of you. So have your arms about your hands holding the strap about shoulders length apart. You're going to hold it down straight out in front of you. And on your inhale, you're going to lift up. Inhaling straight overhead just as far as you can comfortably go without arching the back. Okay, you want to keep your, knit, your ribs knit together and the back straight. So inhale and come up just as far as you can. And exhale down. And inhale up. And exhale down. And inhale up. And exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. And then from here, you're going to arch over to the side. You can place one hand on the door frame. And then I want you to really focus on opening. You can look under this um, shoulder here. But you want to extend and open the chest, getting just a little bit of a twist almost. Using the strap for leverage. And then come back down to center. Lower the arms on an exhale. And raise them up again on an inhale. And then stretch out to the other side. So you're going to rest your one hand on the side of the door frame, the other hand holding the strap. And then open up the chest and the shoulder. You might find that one side is a lot tighter than the other. This is my tighter side. Come back up to center and lower the hands down and exhale. Roll the shoulder blades back and down and down. And then I want you to place um, one hand on each, of, each side of the door frame, about shoulders height. So about where your shoulders are, place one hand on each door frame, and then you're going to press into the door frame, engaging the shoulders, pressing the shoulder blades together, and press in, hold, continue to breathe as you engage through all through the arms. And then drop one ear to one shoulder. Continuing to press the wall as if you're pressing the door frame out and away from you. Come back up to center. And then drop your ear to the other side. Continuing to press your hands into the door frame, engaging the shoulders the same time as you stretch out the neck. And come back up to center. Release the hands and shake everything out. Now I want you to just take a couple half circles with your neck. 
Dropping the chin down to your chest, rolling it over to the shoulder, and dropping it down to your chest and rolling it to the other shoulder. Go at your own pace, your own rhythm. Come back, bring the head back up to center. And then I want you to bring both feet to one side, to one side of your hips, and scoot the other hip all the way against the wall, or as close to the wall as you can. So you might, this is a space to listen to your body. What you, um, you might want to start a few inches out from the wall. Then what we're going to do is you're going to work that hand that's, um, same hand on the hip that's closest to the wall, up the edge of the door frame. Okay? Now, I want you to keep your shoulder out of your ear. So notice if your shoulder is up here, drop it down. Drop that shoulder blade down the back and stretch out that arm. If you're not getting much of a stretch here, you can move a little closer. If it's too much, move a little farther away. Either way, play with it in your distance and what feels right to you. And where you can really engage a nice stretch and a nice openness. Breathe. And then from here, I want you to take that lifted arm and turn the palm um, so that it's facing away from that door frame. And bend the elbow so that the hand reaches back to the top of the neck. Continue to drop the shoulder blade down the back. And use the wall to sort of Open that back of the arm and through the underarm. If it's too much, you can move a little bit away from the wall. Hardly you need to be. And slowly release the arm. Shake out that shoulder, shake out that arm, that neck. Roll the shoulders back and down again, up and back and down, up and back and down. And then switch the legs, so you're going to have your feet off to one side of the hips, the other side. And bring your other arm to the other door frame. You're going to just slowly walk that arm up the door frame. Continuing to drop the shoulder blade down as you lift the arm. If you want a little more, you can get a little closer to the wall. Like I said, this is my tighter side, so this right here feels about as close as I can get today. Give yourself grace to be exactly where you are. There is so much grace, friends, for all of your to-do list. All of your decisions. You're not alone in them. God wants to be your guide, your counselor, your friend. So turn that palm again out so it's facing the other door frame and drop, bend the elbow and drop the hand behind the back of the neck. Use the wall, press into it a little bit to open this all up here. Continue to drop the shoulder blade down. Don't let the shoulders start to creep up by the ears. Breathe. Send your breath to those tight places. Can you find rest here? 
as you lean on the wall. Can you find rest as you lean into Jesus? Lean into him in all the decisions, and all the stress, and all the activity. He wants to be in it with you. And very slowly release the arm. Shake it out. Roll the shoulders back. And come back to center between the, the door frame. And I want you to take your hands again to the other side. And this time I want you to just walk both hands up. And see how this feels here. Okay, so don't let the shoulders creep up by the ears. Drop the shoulder blades down nice and long. Breathing into any tight places. If you want, you can kind of wrap your hands on the edge of the door frame um, and press forward a little bit. Keep your, your ribs knit together, but open the chest just a little through the top of the chest. And then come back to center. Release the arms. Again, shake it out. Shake it off. And roll your shoulder blades back. Up and back and down. Up and back and down. And then I want you to take one arm straight up. And then bend the elbow. And drop that hand to the back of the neck. Then I want you to take the other hand straight out to the side, turn the thumb pointing down and the palm of the hand pointing the back of the room. Uh -huh. And then I want you to bring it behind your back all the way as far as you can across to your waist. So reach all the way across there as far as you can, whatever's comfortable. And then slowly bend. So once you have all of this length here, then slowly start to bend the elbow and walk the fingertips up towards the other hand. If you can bind the hands, great. Do that. If you can't, if you're not there yet, friends, again, there's so much space. Uh, take your strap again or your scarf or your belt or whatever you have and use that to hold on to. Just, just coming wherever you can, whatever's comfortable for you. Maybe slowly try to work the fingers in a little more as you breathe into that tight space. You might find that on one side you need the strap and on the other you don't. We all have sides that are tighter and sides that are looser. Just like we all have places in our lives where it's easier to trust, easier to open up to God's presence and His sovereignty and His love, and places in our life where it's harder, it takes a little more practice and a little more conscious effort to open our hands, to release, to remind ourselves that He's there and that He loves us. Slowly release the arms. And again, shake them out and roll the shoulder blades back and down. And lift the other arm up straight, straight up. Bend the elbow, and drop the hand to the back of the neck, in the middle of the neck. Take your other hand and drop, uh, stretch it out, drop the thumb down first. And then bring it all the way across your body, across your back, around to your waist. And then slowly start to bend the elbow and lift up towards the hand. If you need a strap, grab it. 
It's so much better to give yourself grace and use a prop than it is to force yourself into injury. This is a practice, friends. We move slow. And that's good. It's so good. So listen to your body and go with what it means. Breathe. And as you breathe, you can just try, play with it. Can you walk your fingers a little further up your strap, a little closer together? Is there space for that yet? Release the arms. Shake them out. It's like you're just shaking out all of the stress. Let it go. Roll your shoulders back and down again. And then I want you to just come into a child's pose. Come down onto your mat. With the arms stretched out in front of you. And I want you to um, with the arms stretched out in front of you, I want you to open the palms up towards the ceiling. And breathe here. Send all of your breath into those tight spaces in your neck and your shoulders. Inhaling, expanding the chest, expanding the shoulders, expanding the neck. And exhale and just release and sink a little closer to the mat. You are sovereign. And your sovereignty is driven by love. It's motivated by love. Everything you do, you do out of love. You are love. God is love. You love us. And in your grace, in your grace you've chosen to walk with us, to give us yourself, your very spirit as a guide and a counselor and a friend. Lord, right now I open my hands to you. open all the worries and anxieties that I hold on to. I, I open up my hands and I lay those things at your feet. Or the decisions that weigh heavy on me. The schedule that presses in on my time. I open 
out by hands and we invite you into those things. Lord Jesus, come. Come into those tight spaces. Those spaces of where I don't trust. Come into those places and and fill them with your spirit, with your presence. Teach me to trust. Show me that I'm not alone. That you're right there with me. all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, I hope that I hope that you're feeling a little looser now. I want you to take this space that you feel in your neck and your shoulders now. Try to hold on to it. Hold on to this space, this openness, this relaxation. You can move into more of your own practice now, or you can just come into a shavasana and rest. Spend a little more time in God's presence, opening your hands to Him. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to end with Namaste. Friends, the light in me recognizes, sees, acknowledges the light in you. The breath of God in me recognizes the breath of God in you. Namaste.